Good morning, day 119, I believe, of my Appalachian Trail adventure. Today, I have left the shelter. Bluebird is flying the coop today. She is heading home after her long weekend um, hiking with me. And as you saw in ooh, yesterday's pictures, she's accomplished her first hundred on the Appalachian Trail, so that's pretty exciting for her. It's been fun uh, hiking with her, and I'll be sad to get back on the trail by myself. But I will bring you along today, and if there's anything exciting or interesting, I'll let you know. Alrighty, so I uh, am just got picked up by her shuttle driver. I'm gonna have myself a little breakfast and then I'm hitting the trails. Water is kind of scarce today, so I ended up picking up her uh, extra water bottle. So I'm carrying three liters of water, which is incredibly heavy. Um, and then I believe there's no water until, not the next shelter, but the following shelter. So it's gonna be a, a long day, but I will get back with you when there's something exciting. I just stopped and had my breakfast. I ate some oatmeal and peanut butter this morning. And literally, I got my backpack on, walked about 50 feet around the corner, and this is what I spot. A bench! And I could have sat on that, but no, I sat on a log. <gasps> they have an intersection here to an old trail, which is a purple blaze. We've got 18 North and South. And then... I will be sitting on the bench, even though I just sat. We've got the AT, the White Ambassador Trail, the Old Trail, the Sky Meadows Vin Visitor Center, GR Thompson WMA, don't know what that means. And there, and this is Helen's Bench, helensbench.com. Don't know what it is, but you can feel free to scan the code. Welcome to Helen's Bench. We are glad you are here. This bench is a memorial to our mother who was an avid hiker and lover of the Appalachian Trail. This is the perfect spot to honor a pretty cool woman. While enjoying your rest, feel free to read a chapter or two, write a note in the journal, or just sit and enjoy the beauty of where you are sitting. It's a wonderful view. Love it. Instructions for living a life. Pay attention, be astonished, and tell about it. It's a beautiful tribute to a, a mother and hiker, lover of nature, and there's a, a book in there that she actually wrote. So very, very sweet. Okay, I'm done sitting and I'm moving forward. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, giving joy to the heart. The commands of the Lord are radiant, giving light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. Psalm 19, 7 through 9. So it's been hard motivating myself to walk today. Bluebird has left. It's hot. It's humid. It's nothing like the north. I keep saying that. <laughs> in the north, dot dot dot. In the north, dot dot dot. <laughs> in the south, <laughs> it's hot and it's dry. So today I had a trickling water source and then I might have already said this but I'm going to say it again. The first shelter that I'm gonna to come to, the water source is dry. So I'm gonna to have to go to the second shelter, which is eight-ish something miles from here um, to at least fill up and then potentially go to the shelter beyond that. So we shall see what the day brings about. It's always a surprise for me as much as it is for you. All right. 
right, heading into some shade, so that's nice. The treadway itself has been amazing. The last few days, much easier walking than up in the north. <laughs> a bit spoiled today. It's only 1030 and I'm already sitting on my second bench of the day. So keep it up Virginia. Good job. It kind of makes up for the hornets. Kind of. By the way, I've been stung three times and bluebird got stung on the back of her head today. So the hornets have got to go. The Manassas Gap Shelter is the next shelter with water, so 7.7. .7. The Floyd Wayside, I believe, is my very first wayside. I will show you what that's all about when I get there. Waysides are a little store that you can uh, eat at, resupply at, and hang out at. And then Shenandoah National Park, 21.5. So I will bring you along for the journey. The southern half of the AT. Ooh, and these lantern bugs are disgusting. Let me see if I can find one for you. I just saw one fly. I can't find one now, but as I, um, when I see one, I'll record it for you. They're an invasive species, and they are disgusting. Um, we'll be walking through the woods, and you can smell this sickening, sweet, rotting smell. Kind of like, I think it smells like rotting apples. Bluebird thought it smelled like rotting watermelon, but regardless, it's disgusting. And you can find them on a tree, and then the tree is just black and slimy, and they're killing the trees. So definitely need to go. But this section um, that we've been in the last two days was just littered with them. So I will try to find one for you and show you a picture. They're kind of cool looking really, but under the wings is red. And then from the outside, they're kind of a triangular shape, purplish with black dots. All right, I will let you know when I find one. All right, so I was sitting on the side of the trail here and we had Tigger come along and Tigger is a trail angel. Aww. Do you want to share what you offered me? Oh well the yellow jackets have been horrible out here so I had a little sting cream. We got Wildberry all set up for her victorious mm -hmm. march in the Springer Mountain. Woohoo! Thank mm. you so much Tigger. I appreciate it. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. I made it to the Manassas Gap shelter. I am the only one here. It's 221. And there's water supposedly, so I need to go find that. But I'm hungry, so I'm gonna eat, and then I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna put up my tent and stay here, or go, I think, another five miles to the next shelter. So let's find out what happens. It is now three o'clock, and I have decided to stay at the Manassas Gap shelter. I am setting up my tent, which is going to be here. And the reason, that I'm going to do that is because there was only a trickle of water at the next shelter according to comments um, back on the 29th of August and we've had no rain since and then here I've got water so I've got three full liters plus a two liter bag that I've filled up for morning so that's my plan I will regardless end up at the same place uh, that I was planning on ending up uh, for tomorrow afternoon, so I'll just have more miles to walk. All right, it is the end of my day. I will put in my mileage right here for the day, and that's about it. Take care, have a great night, and God bless. I have had dinner, I have brushed my teeth, and I am all set up for the evening. This is my camp for tonight. Well, first of all, hold on. This is the AT right there. There's a little campsite back there. The flies are terrible. My tent is literally right there. 
literally, literally right there. That path goes to the shelter. And then the AT goes off here. And this is where I'll be heading in the morning. So I'm just about ready to hang up my uh, food bag on the bear pole. So I thought I'd bring you along and we'll see how that gets done. So this uh, shelter had a really nice little spring. It filled up my uh, two gallon or two liter C nut pretty quickly. I'm gonna pause you for a second here to the right. Back there is a little mother campsite tucked in there. I almost chose that one, but I figured I might have the better chance of a breeze in the one I'm at, but there is no breeze, so that's not happening. Got some black walnuts on the ground. And then there is the bear pool.